Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel again. Today I have a Ford E250, Ford Econoline E250. I will be replacing the front, uh, the front wheel bearings. This is the passenger side here, but it doesn't matter uh, if it's passenger side or driver side, it's the same. And this basically will apply for any uh, E250, uh, E350, uh, 450, or any Ford that has this type of bearings. Uh, the Ford uses, uses the same process for all of them. New vehicles with this type of bearings, we, I'm talking about the torque specifications, basically the same for all of them. So with that in mind, uh, let's get started. 22 millimeter lug nuts. Now if I if I move this like this, I'm able to move it like this, the whole hub assembly. And if I move it from here also, but I know the camera cannot see it, I just can feel it. So the bearing is grinding inside, it's making a lot of noise, and that's why it's being replaced. These are 13 millimeter bolts, one and two here. Make sure you don't stretch the brake line or twist it. 22 millimeter bolt here, one here and another one here on the bottom. This one here. Got it. And I put it straight again so you can work more uh, comfortable and uh, have more space. The cutter pin here. Seven millimeter uh, nut here. Most of the time, you can uh, lose it by hand. I don't know about this one. Let's see. Yes, I did. I was able to lose it by hand. This has a side here. This side is flat. It was kind of stuck. I don't know if it got stuck because of the bearing is uh, damaged, but it was kind of stuck. It's The shelf right there, uh, and this is the new one that is going in. This is the old bearing here. I cleaned it because it had so much grease. And if you see it on the other side here, it has sunk inside. See that? This is the new one that is going in. See this here? The the inner part is the, at the same level as the outer part here. It's not the case here. 
the inner part with the outer part, they are not at the same level. This, the inner part has, uh, it's been sinking inside. And that's why it was making a lot of grinding noise. Now this is the part number here. Uh, this is the Duralast from AutoZone for the outer wheel bearing. The new shelf here. Now I'm gonna push it to, uh, through the other side. Just tap it. I got it out already. The new shelf here. Put it as, as even as you can. I'm gonna put this adapter here. This adapter has to be exactly here, so it doesn't. Uh, this doesn't get stuck here on the rotor. See. Make sure this uh, shelf is sitting down all around uh, that is not sitting only on one side and the other one is not because then that is not good so take a, a quick uh, good look here all around and just by seeing it here you can see if it's sitting evenly all right this is the other side i'm going to be taking the seal here because i'll be replacing the seal too other bearing here the inner bearing you can do this just uh, push it back, uh, the inner part push it uh, back and forth back and forward and if it sinks too much from one side then uh, that is not good and I can tell that this one is damaged too now the shelf also is supposed to come out from the other side uh, you push it out uh, from there with the, with the flathead screwdriver Very stuck, it's not supposed to be like that. I uh, hit it and like I'm, I'm four and four spots here, here, like I'm cross like that. Do not hit it only on one side, it came out already. This is the inner here. As you can see, it came with a shelf. It came with a shelf here. Make sure uh, you only tap it a little bit and then pull this out and make sure it's going it's going straight it's going it's going even not crooked so you have to look for an adapter that is uh that that it goes in this hole here exactly like this it doesn't get stuck see it's a little bit loose so it doesn't get stuck when you uh when you're tapping it all right it's in already 
you can feel it when it hits the bottom and uh, it sits all around and by looking here on top you can tell that it's uh, even crooked or it's either uh, sitting down uh, evenly and here is the new bearing that is going in I'm gonna grease it and the first thing you do is uh, push grease and, uh, and the inner parts here on both sides push the grease all around here uh, uh, with your fingers and, and don't get too much grease on, the, on your fingers because the more you get the less you are able to put inside It will take you some time to do this if you want to pack this with grease very well as it should be there is a tool uh, to put grease inside these things I don't have it so I gotta do it with my fingers all right believe it or not I've been greasing this for about 10 minutes because it's not easy I mean uh, it's very slow process to get the uh, grease in you have to get a little bit and then try to get it in but on some spots here uh, I can see that the grease is starting to come out not on this side too much but here already uh, came out this is not from my hand or anything like that it just uh, just uh, coming out from the other side so now I'm gonna grease this and it's gonna be uh, very easy because uh, most of it is, has been greased already inside Alright, after about 15 minutes, believe it or not, it sounds kind of ridiculous, but if you want to put grease uh, all the way inside and, uh, and the inner parts and the bearings, uh, you have to take your time if you, because you have to insert grease with your fingers here and here too on both sides. It takes some time so you, if you want to do it very well. I'm going to put some grease here. The seal here, also from AutoZone. And put it by hand as even as you can before I start tapping it. This is the old shelf, the, the one that came out. Uh, sitting very well all around so it's good and I already greased these two over here because I'm about to put the rotor here started fluid I don't have a brake cleaner A new bearing here and I will grease it right now and I will not show it on camera I already did it uh, because it takes some time after about 18 minutes I'm getting this done here but it's better to start here and uh, on the white side this is the, this part here is wider than this one as you can see so here you can press the, uh, the grease inside a little bit better so this is done
and the first torque I'm gonna be doing here I'm gonna be tightening it to 29.5 uh, foot pounds while spinning the rotor so I have set my uh, wrench here to 29 and a half pounds Right there. Try to move it like this and, and across to make sure it doesn't play. Now you already saw that I, uh, I torque it to um, 29 and a half foot, uh, foot pounds. So now I'm gonna lose it two turns, exactly two turns. I'm gonna be using a regular ratchet. one and two exactly right there all right and right now i'm gonna be tightening it again uh remember the two turns over here i'm gonna be tightening it to uh between 17 and 24 uh foot pounds that's what a four says it doesn't specifically say um a 17 or either 24 it, it says between 17 and 24 uh, foot pounds So I have set my uh, wrench to 17 foot pounds. Right there. I don't know if the camera hears the click, but that's right there. And I don't know if the if the camera can see the mark over here, the mark, the mark is remaining on top again. All right, right now I'm gonna be losing it again. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be losing it 175 degrees. I'm gonna make a mark here and another one here, straight like this, like this. And from there you take it, you lose it, you lose it, you lose it. And when you're about to hit the other mark here, you know the that that's uh, 175 degrees because remember 180 degrees is is the half of uh, 360 degrees so it's very easy in this case Regular ratchet again. And I'm leaving it here, almost hitting it, this, uh, almost hitting this uh, mark here, because remember this is 180 degrees here, the, the, the mark. We just gonna leave it just right before hitting the mark. And that's about five degrees. So that's kind of like a, almost exactly right there. Now I'm gonna be tightening it to uh, one and a half pounds. And that I will do it by hand. I will calculate it. Anybody can calculate uh, one and a half uh, foot pounds. And the reason is because I don't have a torque, a wrench that can give me a, uh, exactly that, but I don't need it. That's, that can be calculated, so. Back. 
that's the final torque right there when you put in this pin make sure you don't uh, the head of the pin make sure you don't bury too much inside here so if someone uh, tries to take it out in the near future they can grab it with a uh, with a plier here very well with no problem and bend bend only one leg don't do not bend both of them Make sure they all go inside by hand. I might have to compress this uh, brake caliper. I'm gonna install the caliper right now and make sure you get it from here uh, from the bottom first And the only thing I have left is uh, I gotta go inside the vehicle once I put the tire I'm gonna and pump the brake pedal uh, at least 10 times before putting the gear shift in any gear like in reverse or drive do not put it in drive or reverse before pumping the brake uh, pedal a few times at least 10 times once uh, you have turned down the engine thanks for watching the video and God bless you all